Hello and welcome to Mr. Knowlton's online safety video. This is a video all about Roblox. So first of all, I'm going to very quickly talk about what Roblox is. Roblox is a game that's very similar to Minecraft in the sense that it's a game designed around building and creating new content or buildings and structures and so on. Um, they differ slightly, whereas Minecraft is on consoles and on PC. Uh, Roblox is mainly on the internet browsers or you can play it on Xbox. Uh, the other main difference is is that the way Roblox works is that um, the users create their own content. So all the games and all the adventures or the levels or the worlds are all created by other users within the game. Um, and that's part of the attraction of Roblox. So as I said previously, the way Roblox works is that all the content on the game is created by users. Um, but this holds a problem within the game. Because content is user generated, it means that um, people can easily slip in inappropriate content or make things rather violent um, without persons knowing. And we've, there's been issues with YouTube recently because people have, dis, um, have hidden inappropriate content by making it Peppa Pig or Sonic related. And then hidden amongst the video is the inappropriate content. And similar can be seen on Roblox where someone makes a game based on, say, Mario, for instance. And then halfway through the game, it either gets really violent or there's inappropriate content or images slipped into the um, slipped into that game. Um, the problem is with Roblox is that it is meant to be for 13, but when you sign up, you can actually just change the age. So there isn't actually an age restriction per se on Roblox, and the levels themselves and the creations themselves don't have age restrictions on them either, or any sort of warning. So it's very easy to accidentally find inappropriate content on Roblox. So like all online video games, uh, there is also there is an option to report. So because there are so many creations, it is very difficult for the makers of Roblox themselves to be able to check them all for uh, for the content, whether it's appropriate or not, too violent and such for. So really it relies on the users themselves. So if you do come across inappropriate content, make sure you please report it and therefore it can be dealt with appropriately. Um, but I am asking that children and parents just need to be careful when their children are playing Roblox. So like I said earlier, the age, relate, age rating on Roblox is 13 because of the ability to talk to people online and they're actually in-game payments, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, but on signing up to Roblox, it does ask for your age, but there is no proof of that. You don't need to prove how old you are, so you could just change it very easily or lie. Um, and there are actually a lot of YouTube videos on teaching children how to change the age and what benefits they get, such as being able to get the in-game money or be able to access things like being able to talk to people and such for um, if they have the age rating up further. So just be careful and check your children's accounts on what age they've set themselves for. And because the children can also change their age, it obviously means that other people, strangers, can change their age to whatever they want. So someone could set their age to 8, 10, but actually they could be much older. They could be a grown adult. So... Communication is uh, very important within Roblox because it is a social game. Obviously, being able to chat to people is a key element of the game. Um, like I said earlier in the previous bit, that anyone can change their age on Roblox. So you need to be really careful with your children on who they're adding um, or accepting friend requests for within the game because someone who could seem like a child of similar age could be a grown adult attending. Um, anyone can send friend requests and accept friend requests, so please talk about talk to your children about not accepting or adding people who they don't know. Um, and uh, chat can be completely disabled, so there, if you go into the settings, you can 100% completely prevent any chatting of any sort, or you can just set it so you can only talk to people who are your friends. So that should eliminate, eliminate any of these issues with your children. Now the next issue with Roblox is personal information. Like a lot of these websites you sign up to, obviously they ask for a lot of personal information, name, age, um, if you're a boy or girl, you know, such for. So just be careful what information you're allowing your child, if they've signed up themselves, to provide. And you need to check if it is visible or not. So you can actually see each other's personal information on Roblox, but you can change the settings so that it is hidden. So just please make sure if your children have an account as themselves, that you've checked that this personal information is hidden. So a term that is linked with the video game world is something called griefing. Uh, griefing is when one player will purposely play the game 
to be unkind or to ruin or to, to mess up or attack other people and ruin their experience of the game. People do sadly play video games solely to do this and upset people. It happens not just in Roblox, but it happens in Fortnite or any of these really online games, Minecraft. Um, it is a form of cyberbullying and you should report people if they are doing it. But please have a conversation with your children before playing these kind of games that these things can happen and what to maybe do if it is happening and not to let it upset them. They can just turn it off at the end of the day. It's just a game. So one of the areas of Roblox that I did a little bit of digging into is the money aspect. So Roblox has a currency, like uh, Fortnite has V-Bucks. So Roblox has Robux, um, and this is received through your game being popular. So if, you, if your child creates a game on Roblox, and it's very popular, and lots of people are playing it, and it's really well made, then they get Robux to, uh, Robux to pay for it. Um, and the more people play it, the more money is generated. Now, if your child sets their age rating above 13, it means that they can actually cash in this real uh, this money for real money through PayPal, which again, you need to be 13 to have an account. Um, and you can also have adverts in your game. Now, I don't think many children will do this, but they need to be aware of it because when you're playing other people's games, obviously advertising advertisements especially will be slipped into other people's games, especially if they're really popular. So you need to have a conversation with your children about, you know, what are advertisements, why they're there, uh, you know, just ignore them or not to click or engage with them really because they can be, again, inappropriate content or virus-related content linked with these adverts. And as always, at the end of these videos, I am going to give Mr. Norton's advice. Here are my top tips generally, especially over the Christmas period or if you're isolating with children and maybe spend a bit more time on video games or the social media or apps and so forth. So always talk to your children about what they're playing and watching. This is my number one highly re recommended top tip. You should be having a constant conversation with your child, understanding what they're doing on the online world, what games they're playing, who they're talking to and so forth. Because unfortunately the online world is getting, it is quite dangerous and children need to be really careful. Um, second of all, uh, discuss with your children who they're adding as friends. You know, go through their friends list. If there's anyone you're unsure of, ask the child. Because if it's a stranger, then they need to be deleted and your child needs maybe a little bit of a reminder. And finally, please go through your child's account. Check their privacy settings. Check their security settings. Make sure that you, as their parent, are happy with the settings and that you feel they are safe playing these games. Thank you so much for listening. I hope these are helpful. Uh, if you ever have any questions, please email the school or myself and we'll try and help as best as possible. Thank you for listening.